Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Regina Berlinette. If you're new to the channel and you don't know how to say my name, and I am back doing another vlog. This will be a regular vlog because I'm not going to the gym. Yesterday, I had a fever, and I just, you know, if if I am fighting something inside, I don't want to, you know, take that out and risk, you know, getting anyone else sick. Um, I love my friend. She really helps me not to get hyped. Shout out to you and you know who you are. No, but I was just texting her telling her that like I was, I cried about it yesterday because I just get myself worked up and um, prayed and cried about it. And she was just like, Regina. <laughs> Because she knows that I could just totally like. But anyway, I'm starting off in my room because I'm getting ready to go up to the track just to run it out. And I wanted to share with you guys my, I'm going to be testing out these new shoes that I got. Um, And let's see here. Let me, here they are. So yeah, I'm going to be trying these shoes out. They are, I'll give you the name of them and just read the specs on them and why I chose them. They're the Nike Waffle Racer Crater um, and it says putting a fresh twist on a 1977 OG. The new Nike uh, Waffle Racer Crater combines super plush crater foam with Nike grid rubber details for a rugged track inspired look. Weighing in with at least 20% um, recycled material, the crater foam midsole is made uh, from a spacey mix of 10% Nike grid rubber and foam materials while speckled waffle outsole is made with 15% Nike grind rubber, making each pair unique and durable. Um, yeah, so uh, let's see the benefits. Uh, the foam midsole feels incredibly soft. I stay webbing, tongue and vamp are spun entirely from recycled uh, polyester for a unique look. Um, updated tread nods to um, updated tread nods to waffle sole heritage while providing durable multi-surface traction. I went ahead and ordered these because it's starting to get warmer and I do like to go to the track. I like to go to the track just to do speed runs and I like to go to the track just because it's, it's near my house and it's a great, great blessing, a great resource. Um, I didn't even realize how much of a blessing it would be to live so close to a track, but I tried these on yesterday Day. and they feel very lightweight um i'm super excited about that because some of nike shoes especially the ones that have like the air um the air zoom technology in it they can kind of get to be heavy but these are lightweight they're very very comfortable i love that they have these little um these waffle traction nods on it um, I feel like it's going to be great for the track and I'm going to, I'm going to test these puppies out and I'm going to let you guys know how they do. Um, and I also want to start testing out shoes for the treadmill. I noticed that in the run community, well, the videos that I watch, not a lot of people review shoes for running on the treadmill. And if you're somebody like me who enjoys running on the treadmill, um, who does probably about 70% of my runs on a treadmill. It's kind of nice to know what shoes work on the treadmill and off the treadmill. Um, so I've been testing out different trainers to see like which ones I like. I think in another video, I told you guys about the super rep, the super reps that I uh, have. And I do enjoy running on them, running in them on a treadmill. So but yeah, I'm going to go and get after it. And, you know, like me and my friend was discussing, I'm just going to run, run this out, whatever this is, um, you know, and just try to be a better version of myself. I've been doing some cleaning in my room because we have to get our ceiling fan fixed. Look, look. So what happened with that? My four-year-old is now tall enough to touch the ceiling fan. They recently got bunk beds and they were pretending, but they were at their top bunk, like pretending like they were gonna like swing on their um, ceiling fan because they have one. Well, she's in the in my room and she's on the bed and she realizes that she can stand on my bed and she's tall enough to touch it. So she hangs on it. And that mug was just like clunk, clunk, clunk. <laughs> Cause she, my baby ain't light, so. That's what I've been in here doing, and I'm going to go take the girls with me up to the track, and I'm going to get after it. So I will see you guys back when I'm done. Peace. So I am done with my run. 
I did the uh, Nike Headspace interval, speed interval workout. And it was great. It was great. These shoes, I really like them for track running. I really, really do. Um, they're comfortable. They have great traction. What's up, guys? <laughs> they have great traction. They're very light on the feet. <sighs> and I'm just grateful to be I mean, like I said yesterday, I had a fever. It kind of started late Tuesday. And then yesterday I had a fever. And this morning, I think I probably had one, but I took a, one of my husband's ibuprofen, 800 milligrams, is it? And that definitely helped me feel better. And I just wanted to take an opportunity to run whatever it is in the inside of me. I do believe that running is medicine for our bodies um, any type of activity we're not really meant to be idle or stagnant um, and i really enjoy doing the headspace i haven't done a headspace one in a long time but i really enjoyed it and it just helped me to remember you know let go of the past and don't think about the future just think about the here and now what am i doing right now and if your mind drags you somewhere, it, it's okay, it's normal, because the mind is supposed to think that's where we have imagination and creativity. But if it goes too far, bring your, your mind back to your breath, bring your mind back to your foot stride, bring your mind back to the sounds that are around you. And that just really, really blessed me, because I have a tendency to work myself up. And yesterday, I don't know if it was just like a little bug to, to um, enrich my spirit but it, it just really had me like worried and I feel like in today with uh, COVID and everything in today's time it's easy to mistake a little fever or a headache or a cough for something that's so like it's about to be so devastating and I was reminded that whatever will be will be and God's gonna take care of me so that greatly, greatly blessed me. I hope it blesses you. I hope it encourages you. Um, I hope you get after whatever your get after is. And my prayer for you, for anyone who watches this video is just to always remember you blessed. <laughs> I love you. God loves you more.